So he's not helping us. That is going to put the overwhelming majority of pressure on one muscle to stop us. Does that mean that every other muscle is relaxed and not engaging? No. So there's no way that we can take out every muscle and only make one muscle work. So what we wanna do is in this test, don't let me bend it. We wanna see vastus medialis kick in, see him stop me from moving him. So we're not doing a break test. All I wanna see is, does the muscle contract? If he fails that, so typically what'll happen is if he fails that and gives out, he'll complain of pain somewhere else, which proves we did not take all of the muscles out. If we took every single muscle out and I did this test and he failed, he would just fail. He wouldn't cramp anywhere else. He wouldn't have pain anywhere else. The fact that he does those things means that this muscle where he cramped or had pain is the muscle that's trying to take over for this muscle not doing its job. So when we position patients for a neuromuscular facilitation test, we are putting the onus on one muscle to try to stop us by facilitating, which means just turning on. I'm not cranking on him. So remember, as you guys worked on this stuff, the harder you pushed, the more they compensated, which is a manual muscle test. The lighter you pushed, now it's really easy to feel a flutter or a give or a contraction. So that's what we're looking for when we're positioning and putting and testing neuromuscles.